Hey, what's up, guys? We're back with another video. And in this video, we're going over Variant 1.3, the final three quests where the Ultron bosses run on here instead of the Ultron drones. This is uh, science and cosmic characters, and there's a lot of God here, science and character, uh, science and um, cosmic characters out there in this game. So, with this first quest, there's some degen here, some starburst here, but you could just use um, Hulk Ragnarok for that. But the only hard fights I would say is this Ice Man. This Ice Man, just because he's an Ice Man with aspects of evolution and, and poison. But if you can tank it through this guy, all you have to do is fight this Ultron right here, which has Impart and Masochism and Limber. So basically, with Impart, um, he'll have this bar that switches between Fury, Armor, Power Grain, or Regen. And if you put a debuff on him when he has any of these buffs up or these like unturned on buffs it'll turn on the buffs and read and fury and armor isn't that bad to get but if you get regen or power gain he'll regen a crap ton or he'll just shoot up to special three if he gets power gain and masochism with it which is another five percent health so basically how you want to fight this guy is use characters that don't debuff characters with no debuffs at all one of the greatest things you can do for this quest is just bring in thing so, what are the best characters for fighting this Ultron, you ask? Well, this Ultron, basically, the way his nose work, you want to use any character that doesn't rely on debuffs in any way. And you also never want to parry in this fight, so just keep those two in mind when going into the fight. Never parry, and you don't want any character that can do debuffs. The best character, honestly, for this, I would say is probably Corvus or Thing. This Thing gameplay you're seeing in the background, is with full thing synergies with like champion hella angela heimdall and he um is a rank two five star keep that in mind if i had a rank five five star thing this could literally like i'm doing 7k crits with a rank two so you do full synergy with thing you could take you through this entire quest basically except for like the poison lane i think so for the cosmic class idea used to bring is corvus we just never parry to get the armor break None of these characters you want to ever parry on. You could use Hyperion, but only use special threes and never get the Furies. Like, or actually, no, you can get the Furies if you want a heavy counter, but I don't know if you can with Hyperion. You could do Proxima, build up her charges, and throw off a massive special. Venom, Angela, Gamora work pretty well, and then Symbiote Spider-Man. Really quick, right here, I forgot to mention, the order you want to put the champions in from top to bottom is Angela, Hela, Thing, Champion, then Heimdall for the full Thing synergy to work well. So, yeah. For the science class, you could use Thing, which you've seen in this gameplay. This is Thing, a rank 2 5 star. I've said that before, but he's just such a beast. Thing is insane for this. Hulk Ragnarok, he's probably not the best, but he doesn't give any um, debuffs. Uh, you can use She Hulk. Oh, right there, I died from the poison slowly over. You could use She Hulk, Red Hulk, or Normal Hulk. Science, there's not that many good options. Anything underneath. Anything other than these characters, I could be missing. If you, you could do this for, fight with Void, I think, but it's like really risky, and I wouldn't recommend it. I would just, if you have Thing, this is only a rank two five star. He could deal with this fight pretty well with the full synergy. So other than that, that's pretty much it. Just I would say Thing or Corvus, top two options right here. Accidentally parried, I think, and he had the regen phase, so he regened a lot. The regen, I would say, is the second worst. The worst definitely is the power gain phase because he'll just shoot straight up to a special three and kill you. But right here. Rank 2, thing, getting a look at this, 7.5k crit, and honestly, if you just bring in like a rank 2, rank 3 thing, he can do this whole quest. Right here, he evades me, there's a special 1, I think I'm gonna go in for a 5 hit combo, and then special 3. And yeah, right here, I think you, you might see me take some screenshots, I don't know, because I think this is the thumbnail. Could be wrong, I haven't seen it yet, but yeah, so thing and Corvus, the best two characters for this. So yeah, after you do that, you've 100 percent the first quest. Now we're moving on to the second one. Now we move on to quest number two. This quest probably has the hardest fight leading up to the boss, but it has the easiest boss. Another thing that makes this quest hard is, well, the global node is Pilfer, which is kind of annoying. So characters like Corvus, you, you might get your um, charges screwed. But these two fights over here and all along this outside has Degen and Starburst. So these fights are just kind of annoying to get through, and then these four fights here all have Aspect of War. So Aspect of War Korg could be a really big problem, but other than that, and this MODOK, if you don't know what counters, this MODOK and the um, 
this guy right here. I need these fights really with Aspect 4 can be bad. In these Degen fights, you just need to bring a character like um, Hulk Ragnarok again. I can do with that. And then this Ultron, definitely the easiest boss out of all of them. It has Pilfer, which is annoying. So you bring in a character like Corvus, you might get all your charges screwed, which is kind of annoying. But you got Limber and Extinction Protocol, which is basically... Um, the defender has 200% attack based on how full the attacker's power bar is. And every time the defender activates a special attack, their power rate increases by 15% for the remainder of the fight. So characters like Medusa, you can um, lock him down, but he will gain a very slight amount of power. So just be aware of that. He's not fully power locked, but he's basically power locked. It's just a tiny bit he gets in. So yeah, I'm going to show you some gameplay and then tell you some good counters. So yeah. Now we move on to the second Ultron. This Ultron out of the other two is definitely the easiest by far, only because this one has the least amount of limitations. Basically, for this fight, you just want anyone that can deal damage, really. And ideally, I guess, someone who doesn't have a lot of buffs because he does have Pilfer, which can screw you. The longer this fight goes on, the faster his power will go up. And right here, I just messed up. Ignore that. This, The first three deaths are really scrub-like, but this fight is really easy to one-shot with Medusa. I think... No, actually not the first boss, but the second and third boss, you can both one-shot Medusa. These fights, I'm just being a scrub. But you can really just bring anyone that can just deal damage because maybe you don't want ideally too many buffs because he is the um, thing and you might pilfer them and gain too much power and kill you with the special three. But the only thing that can really kill you in this fight is the evade, as you saw, or just messing it up. It also has limber, so you can't use characters like Captain America and Infinity War. I mean, you can use them a little bit, but eventually it'll be hard for you to get the, um, what's it called, the uh, Furies. But right here with Medusa, this is like the character you probably should bring for this fight. The first three fights I brought in were just Tess, and I was just really throwing, I guess, because my fighting was really bad. But basically what we want to do for this fight is just use Medusa. She's insane. You just power lock him, and then you just can intercept him, and he'll never evade, and just keep backdrafting. But you, one thing weird about this fight is, I don't know if it's the 15% power gain or something, or the extinction, extinction protocol node, but he does gain the slightest bit of power when you attack him. Like, you might see, right? Yeah, like, he just got a special one. But most of the time, he's not, he can't evade, though, which is good with the um, armor shatter. But he does gain power just at a very slow rate. So just keep that in mind when you're fighting this guy, that every once in a while you will have to evade. A special one but basically you just want to do what i just did get the armor shadow then just keep going to special threes to refresh it and you pretty much have this fight under lock so other than that it's pretty much not there's not much else to this fight so yeah after you beat this fight then you've finished the second boss so we can go on to boss number three now we move on to quest number three this quest has some annoying fights but if you want just the completion i would say take this vision with pilfer and then the global node is also um Fisticuffs for the first 10 seconds of the fight you or them can't get any buffs or debuffs for the first 10 seconds of the fight So it's not that bad, but for the first 10 seconds you got to play safe and then you go up to this wasp here This wasp isn't that bad. You just need to know to play her. And then this path is basically pick your poison It's either you want these two fights the nightcrawler or mega red or a hood and unstoppable colossus But you can pick your poison here and then this killmonger can be very annoying if you run for 100% with starburst But you can just blast him down with any character and then this left lane is kind of annoying. It has Starburst, and this side has Buffet, 15%, so it's a big Buffet. So this left side, you just gotta try to power through, but that's not really the problem with this quest. The problem comes from these two characters right here. You got this Hulk and this Ultron. This Hulk could be really bad if you don't know how to intercept well. He basically has Aspect of War, and that's it, pretty much. This Hulk can be definitely a problem for some people. All he has is Aspect of War. <laughs> That's all you need to make this fight hard. Just because he has like 300 something thousand, 350 maybe, I don't know for sure. He just has a crap ton of health. And basically what Aspect of War is, is you know that over 50 seconds from the second the st uh, fight starts to the 50 second mark, he slowly, your block slowly gets weaker and weaker until at 50 seconds, you have no more block. So his hits just do full damage through your block. So you really don't even try to block. And then also, his, um, he'll be fully unblockable. Uh, um, I mean, not unblockable. Yeah, unblockable at 50 seconds. So you can't parry him anymore. You can't do any of that. You have to intercept. And then also what makes it harder is every time he throws a special, he'll have Fury. He'll have a, I mean, not Fury. He'll have an, an unstoppable de um, passive for six seconds. 
And since it's a passive and not a, de um, a buff, Captain America Infinity War can't get rid of it. So you literally just have to wait the full six duration or full second duration, six seconds. So for this fight, when you go into it, you really want to know, you really want to have this, um, just a um, what's it called? Intercepting down. Cause if you don't know how to intercept, this fight can be horrible. Another thing you can do cause of Hulk's big, um, the way he swings at you, the way he uppercuts is you can swipe back. And when he swings at you, you can do a light intercept. If you don't know what light intercepting is, you might want to search it up. But basically, light intercepting is one way you can get your ends in. Or you can use Quake. This is a 4 star rank 4 Quake. And she is putting in work. Granted, I know Quake's very hard to play. And I'm still getting used to her. This is like my third time ever using mm. I haven't used Quake that much. So I, I could be better. But, you know. Right here, he got pushed past 1 bar power. So I need him to throw a special. Because Quake can't just uh, um, dodge specials. Um without it so watch he's gonna throw off his special too right here if he wants to throw off his special too he's not throwing a special too okay well basically when he throws a special too which is should be any second out he gets the unstoppable passive as you can see it has that white outline on it which means it's a passive so you can't get rid of it and in this fight you pretty much just want to bring I mean, ideally Quake if you're really good, but Quake's really hard to play. But if you're Quake God, you can use Quake to one shot this. But I, if you don't have Quake, you want to just really get good at the light intercept technique or just being good at intercepting in general. Because after the 50 second mark, you can't parry. You can't like block so it uses a heavy. Because if you block, you'll just, you know, it'll be fully unblockable. It'll just smack straight through your block and you'll just die. But yeah, ideally you just want to learn how to intercept really well going into this fight. This is could depending on your roster and your skill level this could be harder than the ultron but for most people the ultron is still hardest just because of its bs nodes but yeah we get him down to like two or three percent and i die of course after you've got that guy down you're gonna have to fight this ultron this ultron pretty bad like honestly pretty bad fight this is a really hard boss it's like 500k you have a fisticuffs limber and then the node that makes this fight hard emp mod so whenever you um, gain a buff, so anyone with a lot of buffs in this fight, you don't really want, unless it's Medusa, but I'll explain that in a second. And for the max 10 stacks, each, and then you'll slowly build up these EMP charges on Ultron. And then when he throws off a special attack, say up to a special one, you've activated five buffs. You'll have five charges. He'll activate a special attack, and it'll give you five passive shocks. So you can't use characters like Corvus, because Corvus is only immune to, um, like, um, with debuff shocks, not passive shocks. So this fight's just really annoying. So the strategy you want to do in this fight is basically just bring Medusa. You're going to want to use Fisticuffs to your advantage in this fight. So what you're going to see me do here, which is probably the ideal character to bring is Medusa. You want to try to get your special one, but don't fire it off. Wait for Fisticuffs to end. You're not gaining any buffs or debuffs right now because it's Fisticuffs. You let him use a special one. You want to go in, get the five armor breaks, make it into an armor shatter. Let him use a special one. For some reason, I got shocked there, but I don't know where it went. I don't really know what happened, but that shock wouldn't have killed me. So what you want to do in this fight is basically just get armor shatter and then just basically intercept, backtrack. Just This is all you want to do for this fight, and then just go to your special three and keep cycling up. Uh, just keep cycling over and over again until this guy is dead. Right there, I got saved by my auto block. That's one other great thing about Medusa. The auto block saves you more than you think it would. And other than that, if you don't have a Medusa for this fight, the only thing I can say is you gotta find a character who just does a crap ton of damage before the shocks will kill him. You just wanna 40% revive, throw in Corvus, do some crazy damage, and then just die. But other than that, I mean, actually Corvus wouldn't even make a great character because of Fisticuffs. You wanna pick a character that can do great damage and doesn't rely on buffs or debuffs. So, one great character I brought in, which you can see right here, is Symbio Spider-Man. This guy is actually pretty good. I got him rank 4 from a 2015, 2016 gem. I forgot what it was. But this guy, he can get a decent amount of damage in before um, the time thing runs out. You want to just build up to a special well, 2, and by the time you get to that, you might die from these shocks. But you're going to see what the shocks look like for a character that now Fisticuffs has gone. You see a triggered precision and dexterity, which 
um, gave him the charges. Now look, he's, his charges are just constantly building up. It's really just not a fun node. This node is really just not fun because you can't bring characters like Thing or Corvus, I don't think, because they're passive shocks. They got my specialty when I die. This fight is really just not fun. Quake is another character that can work for this fight, I'm pretty sure. Quake, she can work, but in the beginning of the fight, I don't think you want to use your heavy attack because the aftershock debuff won't go on from fisticuffs. So you might just want to wait for him. Like right now, you're waiting for him. And then you start doing the quake. You can one-shot him with quake, but my quaking isn't perfect as you can see, so I think I am going to die in a second. But other than that, if you don't have any of these... If you don't have Quake or um, Medusa, honestly, you just probably should either wait till you get one of them before you want to do this, or you can just use revives and just... I mean, the first time I did this fight, I didn't have Medusa or Quake, and I think I just threw characters at him until he died. That's what most people are going to be doing for this fight. You just got to throw characters until he dies. But if you have a Medusa, 4-star. I have one shot him before with a 4-star Medusa, so it is possible. But other than that... Um, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. Then you, once you beat him, all those, <laughs> all those paths, you do this fight like six times, including the Hulk. You have 100% at variant one. And if you can't do this yet, don't get down on yourself because variant one is by far the hardest variant, and it's definitely the last variant you want to like do in like order of like if you're a new player, you want to start with like variant two or three. Definitely don't start with this one first. But yeah, that's all you really need to know. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.